for the first time, you know, smaller specs, I used the, this fan brush, a little bit more of a cheaper one. And um, you can also use a brush that's flared out a little. This brush is flared out, it may, does spots as well. The only thing is if you get too much ink on it, you have to wipe the brush, the fan brush clean, and then start again. So you wipe the brush off the towel paper and then put it back in. So it's only on the top of the, the bristles. Right? But there's another one like that's an older brush that I often use for that kind of thing. Okay. Now I've moved on to a uh, paintbrushes, and I'm actually just putting spots in there, a little bit larger spots. I don't mind if the paint comes out a bit. Well, it's not too much. And the spots are going to get larger as I come down the painting. So I just uh, do this maybe for an hour and come back to you. I'm just putting in the larger colors now. I've used a whole pile of different brushes. This one, a couple of old brushes here that are kind of round and stubbled. And now I'm just using here this lovely brush. And you know, just putting a big blob of paint on the front. I'm making the bigger flowers now, see in the front. Even if the blob of paint sticks out, it gives it a kind of a lovely effect. And a little lighter as I go up. Here we go, see. I'm zoom in on that maybe. And do a couple for him. Where can I go? About here, I'll do a couple here. You see that? Yeah. I do a couple in here. Just blobs. A bit more paint. I like having the, the paint actually come out, pull off the canvas a bit. Give you an effect. Makes the color very bright looking. in the background a bit. Just mega mega spots. Right? There you go. There's your flowers coming on. Yeah. Now I'm using this old brush. It's kind of like big half round worn out brush. This is what I'm going to use for the flowers in the front here. Just scooping some of the paint up in this. So that it's a blob really. And coming in and making my little marks here. See, and you can do it pretty. Once you get the right brush for doing it, you, get, you can get moving sometimes. Get quite a bit done, you know. As you can see, I'm getting to get the flowers larger and larger as we get foreground here. And as I go in the background, I go a little small with it all. Little small ones there, and then I come up here, tilt the brush a bit and get larger. Until I get the real large ones here in front. using a lot of paint now but we're getting our results here now hmm. looking good get back to you in half an hour